Good afternoon, folks. This video is about the earliest prediction pattern and the first call for the chances of grand solar minimum next cycle. Spoiler alert, chances are low. Now here are the facts. So the solar polar magnetic fields reverse every 11 years. It drives the sunspot cycle. The power of the magnetic fields determine the strength of the upcoming solar cycle, and therefore, the measurements of the polar fields have proven to be the single best way to forecast the upcoming sunspot activity, and it can be accomplished before a new sunspot cycle actually begins. Back in 2014, we were looking at long-term cycles. Dr. Valentina Zarkova and I were still friends, and basically, we exploded the topic of grand solar minimum onto the internet. Not just the phenomenon, but how it was due this century, and how every time it comes, it brings major climate chaos, drought, famine, and death. But by 2016, everything changed. I had broken from that mold and was getting attacked by many other YouTubers, and by Valentina Zarkova herself. The chorus against me was that it was time for Grand Solar Minimum, GSM, right now, and that it would begin this sunspot cycle. I said it would not. Now I made my prediction based on those solar polar magnetic fields, and of course, as most of you watching today know, we are not in grand solar minimum. We are outpacing last sunspot cycle in irradiance, radio flux, sunspots, and we've already had stronger geomagnetic marks than last cycle. We're clearly not in the grand minimum yet, and the voices against me have utterly gone silent, rightfully so. So let's take a look at the solar polar magnetic field data now. Here is the entire timeline available. Stanford has been tracking it since the 1970s. The power of the sunspot maximum, which actually occurs at the minimum marks on this chart when the reversal of the fields occur, and the curves cross that central baseline. It's based on the power of the fields a few years earlier, at the maximum range that you see on this chart. So now let's zoom in on the last two cycles. In 2016, we could see that the polar fields still had juice in the tank, and that is why we made the call that it was not going to be grand solar minimum this cycle, aka right now. While we will need about two or three more years to absolutely confirm this forecast, we can already say that the reversal of the fields during this sunspot maximum right now are stronger than during the last maximum. This is the first minor indicator right now. Based on the available data, I put the chances of grand solar minimum next sunspot cycle in the 2030s to be near 20%. We will redo this analysis every year for the next few years and keep you updated, but for now, the only indicator we have suggests the next cycle is not going to be a dud either. I hope this was informative. Subscribe and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.